This leader is provided to permit the projectionist to complete adjustments before the film begins. The volume and tone are identical with the soundtrack which follows. In this tribe, the hair was cut in a special style when a boy reached adolescence. Josie, don't bother George. You almost finished with that report, George? Yeah, just about. He's reading about Indian boys, adolescents like him. Why don't you grow up? Grow up? I'm just as grown up as you are, even if you are older. Says who? Mrs. Baker. She said that girls mature about a year earlier than boys. I suppose if she said you were a genius, you'd believe her. Yes, I would. Now, George, I think Josie is right in believing Mrs. Baker. She's a lovely person and a very good teacher. Hey, Dad, here's something for my report. Oh, what's that, George? Only the grown people have clothes on. It says here that until they were 12 or 13 years old, the children wore no clothes at all. Well, that's interesting, George. And it ties in with the film Josie was telling us about. Sure does. We saw that film last year. I'm on the preview committee, Dad. I'm going to tell the class what to look for in the film. Well, have you decided what you're going to say? I'm going to tell them that the most important things to look for are the changes that take place in our bodies and feelings when we grow up. Lights. When we talk about growth, we usually think of growing up. But the long road of growth is not just up. If it were, it would mean that this little baby would someday look like this. Now, let's see how human beings really grow. Here are two average babies, a little boy and a little girl. In the course of a few years, they will reach maturity. By comparing the adult with the child, we can see the growth changes clearly. Notice that the adult face and head are less round, and the arms, legs, and trunk relatively longer. The boy's shoulders are broad and his body muscular, while the girl's body is more curved. Presence of hormones in the blood brings about many changes in the bodies of both boys and girls. And in the way they feel and act, too. For boys, hair begins to grow on the face. The breasts of the girl begin to develop. The vocal cords of both boys and girls get larger and their voices deepen. These physical changes make the boy feel more manly and the girl more womanly. Both feel independent. They begin to be interested in members of the other sex, in social activities, and in being together. These are normal feelings. But all of us do not mature at the same age. These boys and girls, for example, are all 13 years old. Yet among them, we see many differences in size and maturity. These differences and the fact that girls usually mature earlier than boys, both physically and emotionally, sometimes create problems. But by the time boys and girls reach their late teens, these problems will have been solved. Also, by the time they have completed their education, have steady jobs, want to get married, and are ready to accept the responsibility of having and raising children, the differences in sexual maturity will have disappeared. Lights, please. The principles of growth and development we've seen in this film apply to all human beings.